Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to create this jade green eyes paired with glossy lips using some of the new makeup products which I recently purchased during Nykaa's Hot Pink Sale. And today I have used a Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette for creating this eye look. And also I have used a Too Faced Natural Face Palette for creating this look, guys. And you're going to definitely love it. And it's such a gorgeous uh, look that you can create for the upcoming festive season. And it will be working for a lot of skin tones out there and will be pairing up with a lot of your outfits i hope you're gonna definitely love it make sure you subscribe and let's get started So I have well moisturized my skin as usual and today I've used Pack Moisture Lotion. It's a beautiful moisturizer that adds a lot of glow to your skin and foundation sits so well on top of this moisturizer but the only downside of this product is that it contains fragrance. For the eyebrows today I'm so excited to try out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown and this is a gorgeous product guys. I'm going to talk about this product soon so I'm using a spoolie to just brush it through my brows and I'm taking a little bit of this because it's a very very pigmented stuff so it's having a creamy texture and the brush i'm using as you can see is a pack 099 brush which comes with an angular eyebrow brush on one side and the spoolie on the other side and you can see using uh, the brow pomade i am just outlining my brows and at the same time fill it in and it's very very pigmented guys a little goes a long way with this product it's having a creamy texture but when it sets it's not going to budge i'm going to soon share a dupe of this particular product stay tuned i'm working on it so i'm creating more like hair like strokes in the front part of my brow and you can see i like this kind of brows guys this bold looking brows are actually my kind of thing so you can see i'm doing the same thing on my left eyebrow i outlining it and then going to fill it in using the same product now using a spoolie i'm going to distribute the product on all over my brows as i have done on my right brow so you can see i'm just distributing it really well and it blends so well in my brows guys and it's a very pigmented product so make sure that you use a really less amount now i'm just cleaning out the edges using a concealer and a flat shader brush this part is always optional as i repeatedly do mention in most of my tutorials that i preferably do this part in order to make my brows look lifted and prominent but make sure that you blend out the concealer or the foundation that you are putting surrounding your brows really well and you can see this is how my brows are looking now i love the pomade guys at the same time i like this kind of bold looking brows on me for the primer today i'm using too faced uh, hangover x a primer and i have used this primer guys so i know how it actually works so it's having very very creamy texture as you can see i'm just applying it in several uh, dots on all over my face now using my fingertips i'm blending this in so it's more of a hydrating moisturizing kind of primer it's not like a pore feeling one and if you have dry to normal skin this is going to work really well on my combination skin it also performs beautifully because it helps in adding a lot of hydration to the skin at the same time it's having a little bit of tackiness with a lot of smoothness which helps in sticking my foundation so well on the skin and you can see the glow on my face it's because of the primer for the foundation today i'm using milani conceal and perfect two-in-one a foundation plus concealer this is not a new product i have been using it for years and i absolutely love this using my fingertips i'm going to apply it on all over my face as you can see and for blending out my foundation today guys i'm going to use a new set of sponges uh, which i recently purchased it's by rumier cosmetics it's her ace that base marshmallow sponge trio which comes with three makeup sponges and you can see i'm using the blue one all of these are actually marshmallow sponges and i'm going to wet it in water and guys i'm so happy with the product i was so surprised seeing the kind of size it has grown into so it has grown two times bigger of its own size and it's having such a soft texture such the softest sponge that i have ever used i'm just blending out my foundation and you can see it blends seamlessly on my skin and the foundation is having medium coverage but you can surely build this up since i have some acne marks picking through i'm going to add a second layer of this foundation as well but the sponge is actually blending out my foundation so well guys i'm super duper impressed with the sponge i'm so happy that you guys actually recommended this product to me and i bought this trio and it has become my favorite guys you can see i'm just applying the second layer of this foundation and i broke the pump of the foundation that's why i have removed the a uh, pipe from the pump pump and applying it with the help of that pump 
is that making any sense and i'm just blending out my foundation you can see i love how it actually looks on my skin it is very very long lasting and the sponge is of such a good texture guys you're going to definitely love it it's the softest sponge that i have used till date you just need to try this one out for the concealer today i'm using l'oreal infallible full wear concealer this is not a new product i have been using it uh, for months now and i really like how it actually looks underneath my eyes i'm putting it just in the inner part of my eyes a little bit on the outer part of my eyes or on my nose or my mouth on some spots that i have on my face because of acne issues now i'm using that particular sponge as well to blend out my concealer and you can see it's a full coverage concealer but it doesn't look like a overly cakey overly drying full coverage concealer it just gives you that beautiful radiance underneath your eyes which looks so glowy at the same time very healthy looking on the skin and it blends beautifully on the skin and this particular combination of the milani foundation and the concealer sits so well together guys for special occasions you can definitely try out and throughout the whole day if you want to try out a full coverage concealer which will be not creasing on your skin this is the concealer that you can definitely try out if you have very very oily skin you just need to set it since i have got combination skin i am using k beauty hd a loose setting powder in the shade 04 latte to set my concealer and my foundation and i am using that particular sponge as well i'm using the tapered slanted side of the sponge to apply the product underneath my eyes and you can see this product uh, this particular powder is so finely milled it just helps in setting your face so well without making it look cakey whatever product is left on the sponge i'm going to apply it on all over my face uh, just to set my overall foundation that i have put on my face it's looking matte now but don't worry it will set into a beautiful natural looking finish on the skin guys this powder doesn't look cakey it sets your makeup looks so beautiful on the skin now it's time to do my eyes i'm removing the excess powder with the help of the damp sponge because today i'm using an eyeshadow primer this one is by Too faced it's our shadow insurance primer it's having more like a boozy silicone kind of texture more like pore feeling primer texture I'm just dabbing it on all over my lid with the help of my fingertips. I'm also going to apply it a little bit on my crease because there also I'm going to apply eyeshadows. For the eyeshadow palette today, I'm using Too Faced Sweet Peach Eyeshadow Palette. Beautiful palette. As you can see, it is having everyday kind of colors with a little bit of green as well as purples. So at first, I'm using the Bone Shade to set my overall eyelid. And uh, this primer is of really good texture, guys. It helps in sticking your uh, eyeshadows really well. Now I'm going to take this uh, rusty orange color. With the help of a fluffy blending brush, I'm going to apply it in my crease as my transition color. Slowly building up the color. And you can see I'm so impressed with the pigmentation. These are so pigmented, buttery smooth texture, guys. And zero fallouts. So that's the great part of this eyeshadow. You're going to definitely enjoy that. You will be not having any kind of fallouts, guys. Using this taupey brown color. I'm going to apply it in the outer two-third of my lid you can see and dragging it towards my crease to blend it with uh, my transition shade and all the shades blend so well together guys there is no blending issues very very blendable colors so I'm going to reapply that rusty orange shade one more time in my crease to deepen that now using this jade green shade from the palette this is a shimmery shade and with the help of flat shader brush i have tried to apply this on my lid but i have found that i just need to wet my eyeshadow brush uh, so i have used my mac fix plus to wet my brush and then i have applied that eyeshadow at the center part of my lid and you can see it's looking so popping now and the shade looks so beautiful guys it is not having any chunky glitters it doesn't look artificial at all using that champagne shade i'm going to apply it in the inner one third of my lid in order to create a more like an ombre effect on my eyelid as you can see going back to that topi brown shade i'm going to blend out my uh outer crease uh basically the outer corner of my eyes like this uh, to blend everything well so for the kajal today i'm using color bar intensely rich kajal in the shade dreamy black and this is such a beautiful kajal guys such great pigmentation intense gel black kajal and i'm going to use it as my liner as well and you can see the pigmentation and it's completely 100 percent matte kajal guys it's not having any kind of shine it sets completely matte so i'm using it for creating a beautiful winged eyeliner and you can see how gorgeously it works on my eyelid i love the pigmentation and the smoothness and the creaminess of the product so it's a retractable kajal it's very very affordable but it's of such good quality guys i think it has become my current obsession you can definitely try this one out for my lower waterline i'm going to use this illegal shockwave metallic eyeliner in the shade 
sequins and it's a beautiful purple metallic shiny kajal for which i am using it on my lower waterline and uh, to just smudge that particular purple kajal i am using that purple shade from the palette and you can see it is adding a little bit of color to that look and also applying a little bit of rusty orange color in the lower part of my lower lash line in order to make everything looks really blended well together now i'm using this a deep blackish kind of purple shade from the palette and using it in the outer two-third of my lower lash line in order to create a little bit of smokiness going back to the champagne shade from the palette i'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eyes as you can see this shade is so pretty guys for the mascara today i'm using flower beauty warrior princess mascara which comes with a band like this i'm going to add good two to three coats of this mascara and you can see this helps in adding a lot of definition to your lashes it doesn't add that much volume but you can use it on an everyday basis and if you are not wearing eyeliner it will it's going to just make your eyelash look visible guys i'm adding this on my lower lashes as well the formulation is also very good guys it's very very long lasting so you can see i'm religiously applying it on my lashes because i love mascara and this is how the flower beauty warrior princess mascara looks on me and i have added pack mink eyelash in number m75 my staple lash and this is how it turns out now i'm using too faced natural face palette which comes with two shades of highlighters two shades of blushes and two shades of bronzer at first i'm going to uh, take this satin finish bronzer from the palette which is having a lot of warmth in it so i'm using it as my contouring product so you can see i'm using this angular brush and i'm applying it under my cheekbones and this is having enough warmth in it which will be definitely working if you belong to nc40 nc42 skin tone but if you are darker than me guys this shade will not work that well on you but it works beautifully as your contouring product i'm just applying it on my jawline on the sides of my nose to contour my face now i'm using this shiny bronzing shade from the palette which is having a lot of a sheen and this works like a like an actual sun kissed kind of bronzer guys so if you want to bronze up your skin you can apply this product but i have found that the matte or the satin bronzer works better than this one now i'm going to use this matte mauve blush from the palette as my blush and i'm applying it on the apples of my face basically i'm applying it on the apples towards the ears in that way i find my face to look really lifted and this blush is also very blendable it works so well on all indian skin tones guys now i'm going to use another blush palette and i'm using this a uh, color bar glow crazy palette in the shade stunner which comes with two shades of baked blushes and one bronzing shade and this is having a lot of sheen as you can see so you can definitely use it as your blush topper as i am using today and you can see that glow on the skin it adds a lot of glow guys for the highlighter today i'm using none other than the bekka's a champagne pop this is a mini one which i purchased and it's having a little bit of powderiness guys but it is so smooth to apply on the skin as you can see it looks so intense on the skin i love how it is actually looking but if you want to use it as your everyday kind of highlighter you can also do that just just tap off the excess and then apply just a little bit of this and it will be adding beautiful sheen to your skin blends so well on the skin it doesn't look chunky or glittery on the skin guys uh, so you can definitely try this one out i'm also applying it on my brow bone to highlight my brow bone and you can see the glow on my skin the glow on my face it's mainly because of that highlighter which i have used now i'm removing that excess lip balm with the help of a wet wipe and for the lipstick today at first i'm going to use this maybelline creamy matte lipstick in the shade dried rose and this is a new shade that she has recently came up with and it's a beautiful kind of muted pink color which is having a lot of warmth in it if you are a darker than me or if you have more of a dusky tan skin tone guys this will be looking a little more corallish on you on me it looks like a beautiful pink as you can see and it's having smooth texture now to top it off i'm using color bar sexy kiss proof gel lip color in the shade saucy it's a beautiful peachy gel lip color so these are like lip glosses but these are actually transfer proof lipstick guys these are a transfer proof to some extent i'm going to soon do a review on these lipsticks stay tuned and you can see the combination of these two lipsticks look so gorgeous guys to set my face i'm using mac fix plus and this is my favorite hydrating mist slash setting spray of all time it just helps in reducing all the powderiness of my skin it makes my makeup look so gorgeous guys you can see this is how my final makeup turned out super duper happy with the finished look
this is how i have created this stunning gorgeous look using some of the new makeup products that i recently purchased during nika's hot pink sale if you want me to do a separate review on any one of these products or any of these products just let me know in the comment section down below i love this product i hope you really really like this video do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel guys we'll see you soon take care bye